this game you need 10 plastic or styrofoam cups this is how you set it up done these two will demonstrate how to play the winner has to set up and take down the cups in the fastest time these two are actually playing a real game. Go. Absolutely destroyed. Like, <laughs> Amy, you have to get the colored cup from top to bottom and back to the top. The person who does this the fastest will win the game. Go. These two are demonstrating how to play. The person who brings the cup back to the top in the fastest time will win. These two are going to start an actual game. Good luck, fellas. Go! Congratulations to the winner, Darius. Good game, guys. You know, Steve, I just want to thank you for sacrificing your time so we could baptize Keith. Well, you're welcome, Wally. It was tough at first, but I understand now. What do you mean? Well, this whole time, we've both been fishing. That's right. I've been fishing for well, fish, and you've been fishing for Jesus. Sure. Well, seeing Keith get baptized has made me think. Go on. Leading someone to Christ is the real catch in life. Yeah. Sure, fishing's fun, but I want to be a fisher of men like Jesus and his disciples. Hey, man. Hey, hey you're getting the hope. VBS Day 4 Lesson. Today we're going to be talking about salvation. And to do so, we're going to be in the book of Mark, chapter 1, and we're going to start in verse 25 and go through verse 28. Now I've already got my Bible open, so let's just go ahead and jump into Scripture. 
Let's start at verse 25. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had convulsed him and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. Then they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? What new doctrine is this? For with what authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. Now for verse 28 it says, And immediately his fame spread throughout all the region of Galilee. Now let's turn our attention over now to the naysayer. Jesus rebuked him, saying, Get out of here. Jesus rebuked that spirit, had the spirit get out of here because it was disrupting everything. Remember, this was a fish in the last night's lesson that was telling all the other fish, What do you want with us, fishermen? Get away from that lure. It's fake, right? Well, in the fishing trip of life, it's important to remember that Jesus was and is the real deal. You see, he's a genuine article, and so must we be. Because as we become fishers of men, we have to be the real lure that attracts the fish to Jesus. Okay? So, what we do is, what, what do we offer spiritually? Are we fake? I mean, look at this thing. There's no, it looks good, but there's no supplement there. The only thing for a fish is a sore belly and a hurting lip, right? On the other hand, though, if we're the real deal, we have life-giving supplement that we can offer. Now, this is, this is life-giving nourishment for the fish, okay? As we began the first night of VBS, I challenged you with a question asking you, is Jesus calling you to follow him, okay? Is Jesus calling you to follow him, life, or are you blinded by what appears to be a better lure, okay? Now, one, one way there is life, and the other, there's death. See that hook? This reminds me of scripture. Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is ooh, death. Look at them hooks. This is going to draw you in. But the good side of this is, But the gift of God is life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now we started out, with Jesus calling four obedient fishermen into, into his ministry. And then we ended with a screaming madman. Okay? Now, whether you've blown it a little bit, or you completely blown it, or you're somewhere in the middle, it's important for you to realize that there is hope through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, we pray here at Salem First Baptist Church that you choose wisely to drop your nets, step out of that sinking boat, and follow the master.